So hi everyone. Today we are back with an amazing tutorial on model context protocol MCP, which is trending nowadays for connecting softwares to cloud AI or with the local LLMs as well. This time we are testing PowerPoint MCP. That is now you would be able to generate an entire presentation by just giving a prompt to cloud AI. So let's get started. First of all, let me show you the demo and then we will jump on to how to do it. So as you can see under the hammer sign, you get all the tools for PowerPoint MCP, add slide, add slide picture with caption, add slide title only, add slide title with chart, etc. So there are many tools that the team has given to you. So let's get started. Let me create a basic PPT. Create a presentation on chat GPT. Let me press enter. Now let's see the magic. You need to allow for this chat, whatever tools it is asking access for. And in the end, we will be seeing that it is able to save a presentation for us at defined location that I have defined. And the presentation also looks good. I tested it out recently for a couple of presentation. And this is just amazing. This is taking AI agents to the next level. Because now, even the non-tech guys can create custom tools and can add. And like, you can connect any software, be it PowerPoint or be it Notion or be it Spotify, be it Docker with MCP with Cloud AI. As you can see, it is generating different slides for the presentation for now. And it is asking access for different tools at times. On its own, it is preparing all the content. It is adding the title. And I think it would be able to give you a pretty good presentation then. You might require a few tweaks or even you can go straight away as well. Uh, if you want to add custom images also, you need to provide it a URL for image generation tools or image generation model that I'll be explaining you later on. Um, for now, I haven't added that, but it would be able to add tables. It would be able to add charts also on its own, if not custom images. So I think this is very nice. This particular MCP is very, very useful for anyone who is working in uh, IT sector or preparing presentations on a daily basis. As you can see, it is adding most of the information on its own and you just might need to go and edit a few things before ending up. I really loved it because I just hate making presentations and this appears to be a boon for me now because I would be preparing most of my presentations or in the future, whatever I present on the channel also using this particular MCP. So I think if you don't know about MCP, Model Context Protocol was introduced by Anthropic last year, I think around August, where now you can connect LLMs to softwares directly and you would be able to see it is not just uh, spitting out text but would be able to help you execute tasks. So already on the channel I've covered Docker MCP, I've already covered Google Chrome MCP where I asked the LLM to put a book in cart. Apart from that I also covered WhatsApp MCP that was very interesting tutorial that you can watch out on this channel or and this in, in this particular playlist. As you can see now our presentation is ready. Let me jump on to the location where it is saved. This is a presentation that the model is able to create. Looks decent. I think in terms of the content it is looking fine. As you can see here it is able to add charts also. This is very interesting on its own. Cable design applications. Here you can see that it is able to add a table also on its own. This is a comparison that it is able to do for you. Limitation ethical consideration. And this is pretty long also if you have noticed. Questions? Pretty good. I think I would definitely rate it a 7 or 8 on 10. And I think if I would have given it a better prompt also, this would have been crazy. But as you can look, it is able to add charts. It is able to add table. And it is prepared a PPT of 20 slides for us. This is quite interesting. Now let's jump on to how to enable this in your local system that too for free so first of all you need to go to this particular git repo powerpoint hyphen mcp and git clone this there it has mentioned what are the different tools that the team is providing to you and here is the you need to git clone this particular repo nothing much to be done i think if you have been following this channel most of the settings would be done for you for now 
Here you can see that you need to provide a stable diffusion web UI URL if you want to generate custom images. We are not doing that, so I would be skipping this particular environment settings. Now, once you are done, uh, you need to go to Claude's MCP config. How? As you can see on the screen, go to your developer settings and go to edit config, Claude desktop config, and here you need to add this particular MCP server. So, let me explain you this. If you are using Mac OS or Linux, you just need to mention UV. But if you are using Windows, I am using a Windows. Hence, you need to provide the full path for UV. How to get that? Where UV you need to press. I think for now you might have installed UV because I have been installing UV in all my previous tutorials. So if you have any doubts around UV, you can check that out. So once you have added this particular command in full path, these are the arguments you need to pass. And again, every path has to be full absolute path in case of uh, Windows. So this is the part of the git cloned repo that we have got powerpoint hyphen mcp and this is the path that i provided to save the particular presentation that it creates so there are two major things you need to update one is the git cloned path and other is where you want to save your files once you are done you just go to end task manager and end task from here once done all the tools should be visible to you in this hammer section for powerpoint mcp and now you can generate presentations for free without doing anything by just giving a prompt i think uh, the incoming times are very interesting and i hope you try out this particular mcp this is very important thank you so much